Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahumma salli wa sallim ala Sayyidi wa Habibi Muhammad alayhi abdul salatu salam. All praise is due to Allah. I praise him. Ask only him for help and ask him alone for guidance and his mercy. I have faith in him only and I bear witness that there is no Lord but Allah. <clears throat> he is alone. He is no, he has no equal. And I bear witness that Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, is his servant and his prophet whom Allah sent for guidance. Sisters and brothers, remembering Allah, dhikr, adhkar, is something that is, that is liked and required from everyone. And it's encouraged in all circumstances. The evidence for its being encouraged, mustahab, is the fact that Allah has enjoined it in many verses of the Quran. And he has forbidden it, its opposite, namely headlessness and forget, uh, forgetfulness. He has connected success to constantly remembering him a great deal. He has praised those who do not uh, and described them as being those who benefit from his signs. He stated that they are people of understanding. He has told us of the loss of those who are distracted from the care by other things. He has told us that the reward of those who remember him is that he, he himself remembers him back and mentioned them. He has told us that, remember, that remembrance of him <clears throat> is greater than everything. And he has described Dikr as being the twin of righteous deeds. He has made Dikr the beginning and the end of righteous deeds in many verses, some of which I'll, I'll, I'll quote here, inshallah. <clears throat> the Prophet alayhi salatu was salam asked his, asked his companions, if they would like him to tell them what's the best deed they can do uh, that is regarded as the most pious act in the sight of Allah that will raise the rank most in faith and paradise that is better for them than spending gold and silver of this, uh, for the sake of Allah and in which is better than meeting the non-believer in warfare where they slay them and are slain. Starving, stri stri striving to rise the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The companions of uh, the Prophet replied to the Prophet that they most certainly would like to know. <clears throat> and he said, the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. الذين آمنوا وتطمئن قلوبهم بذكر الله ألا بذكر الله تطمئن تطمئن القلوب Those who believe in Allah and whose hearts find rest in the remembrance of Allah Verily in the remembrance of Allah do hearts find rest So Allah says and who and whose heart find rest وتطمئن قلوبهم the meaning of Allah's statement <clears throat> that this, um, Allah, Allah that the, this, the distress and the unease the distress and the unease of their heart will cease and replaced with cheerfulness, joy, verily in the remembrance of Allah, do heart find rest. There is nothing else will bring heart to the uh, to the heart tranquility except the remembrance of Allah. Remembrance of Allah is the only thing that will give heart life based of iman, truth, sincerity, sound guidance, love of good and good deeds, hatred of evil and keeping away from it. Uh, and it's the only thing that will nurture the soul in order for it to attain all virtue. If a person is deprived from a remembrance of Allah, his state is similar to a body that is deprived from the essential nourishment. There is no life 
based upon virtue for the heart, except through the remembrance of Allah. And because of this, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, the heart need of dhikr is like a fish need for water. So what will be the state of a fish when isolated from water? When a person remembers Allah, Allah remembers him. فَذْكُرُونِي أَذْكُرْكُمْ Therefore, remember me, I will remember you. The Prophet ﷺ told us I, that Allah said, I am with my servant when, when he remembers me. And his lips move, making mention of me. Also, the Prophet ﷺ said, a man does nothing more calculated to rescue him from, Allah, from Allah's punishment than making mention of Allah. In addition to our ritual acts of worship, including the most fre frequent one, salawat, the five prayers, there are many other ways to remembering Allah. Uh, of these, reading and reciting Quran is the foremost. Allah refers to the Quran as ad-dhikr, remembrance, or the reminder. <clears throat> in as many as 55 places in the Quran, uh, Allah mentioned the, reciting the Quran as dhikring, as doing dhikr. In Surah Sa'd, verse uh, number one, he tells us, by the Quran, full of dhikr. The same Surah, uh, verse uh, uh, 49, and the Quran, and this Quran is no less than dhikr for all the worlds, all universe. Reading, understanding, reflecting, and pondering on Allah's word is the most effective way to remember, to remember Allah. Dhikr also includes remembering Allah when one gets up in the morning, on starting to do anything, on eating, leaving the house, on entering various places and before performing so many other activities. The Prophet ﷺ has taught us the appropriate, appropriate supplications for every occasion. And if we can recite these with understanding, all of our activities will, inshallah, amount to his remembrance and worship. With little effort, this can be learned. But if, we, if for any reason one cannot remember the appropriate uh, dua or dhikr, then even just saying bismillah and being uh, Conscious of Allah amounts to dhikr and will be source of barakah, blessings for everything we do, inshallah. When a man said, O Messenger of Allah, the ordinance of Islam are too many for me. So tell me something that I might link to. The Prophet ﷺ replied, Your tongue will continue to spill by making mention of Allah. There are so many ways to remembering Allah taught to us by the Prophet والسلام, when, when we glorify him by saying SubhanAllah, when we praise him by saying Alhamdulillah, and, we, and when we ma magnify him by saying uh, Allahu Akbar, all of this uh, dhikr, when we say Astaghfirullah, when we say La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah, all of this is dhikr the Prophet taught us. The Prophet also said, there are two words which are light on the tongue, heavy on the scale, and beloved to the most gracious. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, subhanallah al -Azim. We have also been taught the prescribed dhikr for morning and evening. Allah tells us in the Quran regarding the prayers and dhikr. So glorify Allah when you come up to the evening and when you enter the morning and his, and his are, are all the praises and thanks in the heavens and earth and the late afternoon and when you come up <clears throat> to the times when day begin to decline. This morning and evening dhikr should also include seeking Allah protection from shaitan's uh, whispering and all of these things that can harm us. Our Prophet ﷺ said, the devil encircling the heart of the son of Adam. When he mentions Allah, he withdraws. 
but when he is neg neglectful, he makes evil suggestions. And in, a, in another hadith, Allah's Messenger والسلام, said, the son of Adam never <clears throat> perform an act that brings and grant him safety from Allah's punishment more than rem remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم إنه هو الغفور الرحيم. Beloved sisters and brothers, Allah says in the Quran, <clears throat> and keep yourself, O Muhammad, and keep yourself patiently with those who call on their Rabb, on their God, with glorification, praising in prayers, and other righteous deeds, morning and afternoon, seeking his face, and let not your eyes overlook them. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported about the messenger that he said, Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has teams has teams of angels who go about on the roads seeking those who remember Allah. When they find some people remembering Allah, they call to one another and say, "Come." Come to what you are looking for. And they surround them with their wings till the space between them and the lowest sky is fully covered. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked them, though he is best informed about everything, what are my slaves saying? They say, they are glorifying you with tasbih, tahmeed, takbir, tamjid. And he asked, have they seen me? Their play, no. <clears throat> In the, indeed, they have not seen you. He asks, how would they act if they were to see me? They reply, if they were to see you, they would engage more earnestly in worshiping <clears throat> and glorifying you and would extol, your, would extol you more. He would say, what do they beg me of? They say, they beg you for your Jannah. Allah says, have they seen my Jannah? And they say, no, Rabb. He, see, he says, how would they act if they were to see Jannah? They would reply, were, were they to see it, they would more instant, intensely eager for it. The angels say, they seek your protection. He asked, against what? Do they seek my protection? The angels say, O oh, Rabb, from the fire of hell. And SubhanAllah says, have they seen the fire of hell? They say, no Rabb, you're, by your honor, they have not seen it. He says, what would they act? What would they act if they were to see my fire? They say, if they were to see it, they would be more earnest in being away from it and fearing it. They, they, beg, they beg your forgiveness. He says, I call you to witness that I, hear, I hereby grant a pardon to them and confer upon them what they ask for and grant them protection against what they seek protection from. One of the angels says, Oh, Rab, there is amongst them such and such slave who does not belong to the assembly of those who are participating in your remembrance. He passed by them and sat down with them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I also grant him a pardon because they are the people by virtue of whom their associate will not be unfortunate. Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu says that the messengers said, when a group of people assemble for remembrance of Allah, the, angel, the angels surround them with their wings. Allah's, Allah's mercy envelops them. Sakina or tranquility descends upon them and Allah makes mention of them before those who are near him. Also, uh, 
Tuwaya ibn al-Harith, may Allah be pleased to upon him, reported that the Messenger والسلام, was sitting in the mosque with his companions when three of people came to him. Two of them stepped forward to the Messenger of Allah والسلام, and the third one went away. Those two men stood by the, by the side of the Messenger of Allah <clears throat> One of them found a space in the circle and filled it, while the other one sat behind the Prophet. When the Messenger of Allah ﷺ finished, he said, Shall I not inform you about, those, about these three people? One of them sought refuge with Allah, and Allah gave him refuge. The second one felt shy, and Allah showed him kindness, and uh, kindness to his shyness. And the last one averted, and Allah turned away his attention from him. Muawiyah came to the assembly in the mosque and asked them, what has made you sit together? They replied, we are sitting here to remember Allah. He said, I assure you by Allah to tell me whether nothing else has made you to sit together. They replied, by Allah, we are sitting only to remember Allah. Then he said, I did not assure you because I, sus I suspected you. The fact is the messenger of Allah went out to a circle of his companions and said, what has made you sit there? When they replied, <clears throat> that they are sitting together to remember Allah and praise him for guiding, guiding them to Islam and bestowing favors on them. He والسلام, said, I assure you by Allah to tell me that nothing else has made you sit together. On their reply, they, 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 they were certainly no other, they, were, they had certainly no other purpose. The Prophet والسلام, said, I did not assure you because I suspect you, but Jibreel came to me and told me that Allah was talking proudly of you to the angels. From the countless benefits of Dhikr is that a light of, uh, for the person in, uh, in this dunya and in his grave and, the, and in the hereafter for him. This light will be running forward in front of him when he crosses the bridge of Surat. There is nothing that illuminates the heart and grave in the manner similar to Dhikr, to dhikr Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah said in the Quran, أَوَمَنْ كَانَ مَيْتًا فَأَحْيَيْنَاهُ وَجَعَلْنَا لَهُ نُورًا يَمْشِي بِهِ فِي النَّاسِ كَمَنْ مِثْلَهُ فِي الظُّلَمَاتِ لَيْسَ بِخَارِجٍ مِّنْهَا Is he who was dead without faith by ignorance and disbelief, and we gave him life by knowledge and faith, and set for him a light whereby he can walk amongst men like, like him who's in the darkness, from which he can never come out? The first person is a believer, who's giving insight, clear guidance through the light of Iman, love of Allah, knowledge and awareness of Allah and remember, remembrance of Allah. The second person is a headless person who is headless of Allah, turns away from remembrance of Allah and love of Allah. <clears throat> absolute, success, absolute success, result of the light of, of, the, of our Iman of Allah. An, ab an absolute uh, wretchedness result in uh, being away from dhikr and being away from Allah. Prophet وسلم, used to ask Allah, Oh Allah, place, li place light in my heart, place light in my hearing, light in my sight, light in my tongue, light on my right, Light on my left, and light in front of me, light behind me, light above me, light be below me, make light for me. Dicker is a light for a person's face and body parts, light for him in, his, in, in this worldly affair, 
and in the grave and on the day of resurrection. <clears throat> Sisters and brothers, love what Allah loves. Love Allah with all of your heart. Do not become tired of Allah's speech, nor of his mentioning of his name, and do not make your hearts hard towards it. So worship Allah and do not associate anything with him and fear him as he should be feared. And be sincere to Allah in the righteous words which pass <clears throat> your lips and love one another with Allah's spirit between you. Verily Allah hates that his confidence should be broken. And my <clears throat> the peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah be upon you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.